Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about simplifying radical expressions. So, if I was given this expression, 6 times the square root of 75, and the square means bigger, m p squared times q to the third. Okay? Well, let's go break this down. 75 breaks down to be 3 and 25, and 25 is just uh, 5 and 5. M is by itself, p squared is just p times p, and q to the third is just q times q times q. Okay? So now let's go circle our pairs. I have a pair of fives, a pair of p's, and a pair of q's. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this, the six on the outside, and multiply all of my pairs as single elements on the outside. All right? So I have one five right there, then we have a p, then we have a q. Okay? And then inside the square roots is all my single values. My single values were just the three. Don't forget that m that was up there, 3 times m times a q being a lone ranger. <clears throat> so now let's simplify. 6 times 5 is 30, so you have 30p times q times the square root of 3mq. And there we have it. Our final answer, which is just 30pq times the square root of 3mq. So let's recap. We're given 6 times the square root of 75mp squared times q to the third. Okay? 75 breaks down to be 3 times 5 times 5 m is still there by itself, p squared is p times p, and q to the third is q times 2 times q. I then circled all my pairs, added a pair of 5s, a pair of p's, and a pair of q's. A pair on the inside is individual on the outside, so when I rewrote this, I have 6 times one of my pairs, 5 times p times q. And then inside, the square root is what was left, right? the what, what was not paired up, the 3, the m, and then a single q. We simplify that, and it gives our final simplified answer, which is 30pq times the square root of 3m. Q. 